Hey everybody, it's John here from thegimmeyak.com. Welcome to the first part of our Little Mouse's Encyclopedia Guide. We're going to cover the first level, which is going to be around the burrow. So make sure you start that one up. As soon as you load in, you should be given your first achievement for starting up the level. It's going to be called Around the Burrow for 20 gamer score. And then after you get that, you are going to get control of our mouse character. First thing you want to do is you want to make sure you play through the tutorial. All you do is just hit the Y button over the table right here. That should bring up the encyclopedia. And it should also give you this achievement called Ready for Adventure for finishing up the tutorial. So make sure you knock that one out of the way. Close the encyclopedia by hitting the B button and then you should be able to move the mouse around. All you have to do in order to get all of the achievements in the level is just interact with everything and get everything's encyclopedia entry. First thing up is going to be the white grub right here. Hit A to interact with it and then hit Y to bring up the encyclopedia by using the lens. You should get the researcher achievement for using the lens for the first time for 20 gamer score. After you get that, make sure you get the thing next to it, A button to interact, Y to open up the encyclopedia. That should be the cock chafer. Then we are going to move on keep going to the right make sure you get this thing on the table in the bowl so it's just going to be an interaction no encyclopedia entry on this one then we're going to have this right here which is going to be the common shrew again one interaction and one encyclopedia entry moving on to the right up here on top of the screen we have the tapula maxima so make sure you get the interaction and encyclopedia for that then move down here, make sure you get these things right here. A button to jiggle them, and then Y to get the European Mole Cricket. Then we have the Adult Mole Cricket, make sure you get the interaction and the Y on that to get that entry. It counts as a separate one, so make sure you get both. Moving further right, we are going to have this pile of worms right here. Make sure you hit the A button to interact with it, and then Y to get the entry. It's going to be the mole's pantry. Then we're going to go up here and then grab the mole itself. So A and then Y to get the common mole. Continuing down this tunnel, we are going to have the caddis fly right here. It's going to be the bottom most insect, so grab that. Make sure you move slightly to the left. We're going to have this lizard looking thing, which is going to be the smooth and newt. So get both of those types of interactions. And then after that, we are going to head back the way we came. And then this time we're going to take the upper path. And then we're going to go over here. So where you found the Tapula Maxima, you want to make sure you head up this tunnel. Grab the insects off to the right right here. This is going to be the common burying beetle. And then we're going to inch our way forward. Make sure you get the larva of the click beetle on the left side. Then slightly move your way up. Grab the thing that looks like meta pod from Pokemon, which is going to be this moth right here. And then we're going to keep going up. We should surface right here. First thing you want to get as soon as you pop your head out is going to be this flower. So Y button to get the ox eye daisy. Then grab the house fly right here. Right next to that, grab the damsel fly. With these flying insects, I recommend grabbing their encyclopedia entries before you hit the A button. That way they don't end up flying away and you don't end up having to wait for them to come back. So make sure you do that. Grab the two flowers. You have the wood forget me not and then you have the marsh marigold. Then we have the few things in the actual pond. We have the tadpole, which is going to be in the middle. And then you have the little pond skater thing, which you have to wait for in order to get close to you. So once it's next to you, hit Y and then grab it. It's going to be the water measurer after grabbing that head to the left past where we came out and then grab the harebell flower right here then we're going to have the bush cricket make sure you grab the encyclopedia entry and then the interaction grab the rib wart and then the nap weed flowers then we have thyme and then we have the carthusian pink then after that we are going to close that and then move and then grab this flower which is going to be the yarrow then moving past this hole, we have this insect right here, which is going to be the cabbage butterfly. And after you grab both interactions, that should be your last insect. So you should be given the entomologist achievement for 30 gamer score. That's for finding all of the insects in this chapter. Moving on, make sure you grab the rest of the flowers right here. We have the nettle, then we have the common dandelion. We're just going to skip all of the holes and then keep going. Grab the clover. And then right here, you are going to have the buttercup. And then the last flower is going to be the common daisy. So that should wrap it up for all of the flowers above ground. Go right and then go down the first tunnel you see. You have the rose chafer right here, which should be the first insect. Make sure you take this little detour poking up in order to grab this worm looking thing right here. Then go down and then grab the earthworm right here. 
After grabbing the earthworm, we're going to head back onto the main path, and then this time you want to make sure you take this detour. It's a little hard to steer yourself onto the right tunnel, but once you get up here, grab the centipede, grab the earthworm right over here, and then finally grab the last interaction with these little bugs right here. After you get those three, that should be all of the observation and encyclopedia entries for this particular level. This is where you should unlock your achievement. 75 gamer score for this one. Don't forget to check back soon to the next part where we're going to cover the second level. And that's all there is to it.